Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Paradoxic, and welcome back to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This time we're on Season 1, Episode 19, titled The Only Light in the Darkness. So, I'm guessing that's not going to be Ward. I'm guessing that's not going to be Ward inside Providence. Um, but yeah, last time we had Episode 18, which was Providence. Uh, not only the title of the episode, but also the secret S.H.I.E.L.D. base that we found out about run by Eric Koenig, another S.H.I.E.L.D. officer, played by Patton Oswalt. Um, and yeah, I think we just kind of, like, it, it was just an episode dealing with the aftermath of, like, Hydra coming out of the shadows and into the light and everything, and we had, a, like, a, a lot less kind of good guy covers from um, from Garrett and Ward. Ward especially, I think. Ward, I think we, 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 we saw him pretty much just, you know, not bothering to be a bad guy anymore. Like, well, he, he was maintaining his cover with Sky. He was still getting calls from Sky and making sure he was okay and stuff. And he was, he was still maintaining his cover with her. But with Garrett and with Raina and everything, like, he was just, you know, he's, he, he put on a bit of facial hair, had that whole kind of gruff, bad guy look going on. So, yeah, and it's, I think, the problem for me so far, so far, the problem for me has been, like, you know, look, looking back, it's like, the trouble I have is, you know, having been having been convinced that that like Ward was such a good guy, like it's like l looking back, the the telltale signs are there. I can see the telltale signs now, like the stuff like him still pulling the trigger even after Sif put the mouth guard on Lorelai, um, and him, you know, um, him like um, choosing a crappy vantage point on the bridge, and you know, just like um, you know, sl be, being sloppy when chasing after Marvel, stuff like that, the, stuff like that, the telltale signs are there, you can see them now that they're a bit more obvious, um, given his true um, agenda and his true allegiance, but it's like, like, looking back, it's like, I mean, and and he even said more, like, um, he even mentioned more, like, his kind of deep, deep, deep cover tactics 101, like, you know, perform self acts of bravery early on so that they know you're with them, like, jumping after Simmons, like, seeing all that stuff, it's like, I still can't, like, part of me still can't help but see him as a good guy, because because Brett Dalton himself, I think, um, you know, he, I think, I heard that, like, um, I saw a comment saying that, you know, he even he didn't realize the the, the, the truth behind um, Ward's secret, like, he, like, he, 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 like, like the, the, I think, yeah, like, I think, I think he, he even, like, like n none of the cast knew, but even he didn't really know until the end, but then, you know, even the reveal, like, he, like, 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 no one else found out until it was actually aired, but then he didn't find out until they were actually shooting the episode and they read the script and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, the, the, like, even for, for, even for them, the, 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 they, they had Brett Dalton convinced that Ward was a good guy along, and they're like, boom, nope, he's actually Hydra now. So, yeah, but looking back, it's like, it's, it's hard to see him as a bad guy, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we know that that's what he was trying to do. He was, he was trying to maintain that cover, and, like, you know, um, someone made a good point of saying, you know, if, if at any point... Garrett had ordered the, had ordered him to kill them. He would have done it. He would have literally off the off the entire team and then gone back to Garrett. But Garrett wanted him to maintain that cover, stick with Coulson, find out what he knew about the ET and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, but um, but he has been sent. He was sent back to the team. Um, he he uh, they they recruited two people. They recruited Rainer straight up at the beginning with a new flower dress. They recruited Rainer. Um, and gave her new samples of GH that um, that Garrett managed to pick up from the Bethesda place um, before it came down. So it's not the, it's not the three two five, but it's the different vials of the different samples that she can test out and stuff. And also a hard drive full of um, the information the Sky and Simmons gathered from the GHs. Um, but it was encrypted, so Garrett sent Ward back into uh, like back into the arms of Shield uh, to try and get that code from um, from Sky, and he he did. I think I think he gave him forty eight hours to do any and, and he said you know if you can't do it off the entire team, just bring the girl and we'll just do whatever it whatever we can, pretty much. Um, so there was that, but we saw Providence, which was um, after they collected up all the badges. After Coulson collected up all the badges, he saw coordinates in his own badge. And he knew right off the bat that, you know, that was Fury's way of, like, giving him a message. Like, like th 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 there was no name behind it. There was no obvious recipient. But for him, he knew this was Fury style of sending messages without any kind of subject or without any kind of, like, you know, like a from kind of note. Um, but he knew it, it, he knew it must have been called, um, Fury giving him some kind of a, a, of a tip. So he followed the coordinates, made the team, for, well, not made the team, the, 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 the the team didn't want him to, you know, follow blindly into some kind of uh, blind faith after Fury, a man who was most likely dead. 
but they found, uh, after a trek in the snow, they found the problem space run by Eric Koenig, and Koenig told the team that Fury was still dead, that he was dead, he didn't make it on DC, but then he told Coulson in private that Fury was actually alive, and that Fury had given him orders to only tell her, like, to only make sure, to, to make sure that only a select few people knew, so I think the few people were Widow, I mean, well, probably Widow, yeah, Widow, because Widow found that was Cap, Cap, Maria Hill, um, Coulson, and a bunch of others, so... So yeah, so I mean, um, I think I think even after Winter Soldier, his his goal for a while was to still maintain the the um the cover that Hydra's attempt on his life was successful. But then I mean, he did show up at the end. Uh, he did sh- he did still show up at the Triskelion and take down Pierce. So yeah, I guess m- 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 most still like to think that Fury's dead and all. So I don't know, but um, but yeah, so they found Providence. Um. Trip during the teams were all much too close to reluctance because of because uh, because he because he, he, even if he wasn't in allegiance with um with Garrett he was still by his side for a for, for, for a long long time so he was kind of reluctant to let him onto the team b- because of that but Simmons did vouch for him and say that you know he did offer his life in um in in, in, in Shield's kind of favor and whatnot so um she vouched for him. Fits not so much, but um, but I think but Trip is an interesting new addition to the team. I think I'm I'm, in, I'm interested to see I'm interested to see how he gets along with them, um, Simmons especially and Fitz and then just pretty much everyone. But I think he's a he, he's a nice replacement for the evilness that is Ward. He's a very nice replacement for the evil that is Ward. Uh, but Ward is back in. So how he goes about actually extracting that encryption data from um. Or the, the decryption data from from Sky. I'm curious to know because she's likely not. She's. I don't. I don't even know how like, how that conversation is going to go because she's likely not going to give it up straight off the bat. But then he has 48 hours and like to actually find something safely. And if not, then he has to. Then he's got permission to kill them all and then just you know. Uh, I think I think just bring Sky to Garrett. So. Yeah, um, but yeah, they did recruit Raina. They got her back. Um, they recruited Quinn at the end of it as well. They they they, they broke Quinn out of prison, <laughs> prison and they recruited him back in as well. And they brought him the Gravitonium. They raided the fridge, stole all the toys from there, and released some prisoners. So I think Colton's going to run into them at some point. Um, and they also um, they also uh, broke out the Gravitonium. I think that was off the records, but but, but Ward knew about it because Colton told him so. Ward knew that there was something under the fridge uh, directly under it, so they found the Gravitonium there, and they broke Quinn out. So now he has his Gravitonium back. So Rayner and Quinn are on Team Garrett. They've been recruiting onto there, so we'll see exactly where that leads us. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I have from Providence Episode 19, The Only Light in the Darkness. Let's go. He's shutting down the lights? He can control it. Is he, can, can he control electricity? Is that what it is? Whoa! Okay, this is more than just electricity. That has to be more than just electricity. He sucked a life force out of him. Daniels Marcus. Marcus Daniels. Marcus Daniels. Who are you, Marcus Daniels, and what's your superpower? Is he the one that did this to you? He was a tough son of a bitch. We need to make it believable. Mm-hmm. Oh, I fucking Plus, hate this, and I love it at the same time. As soon as I had the upper hand, I put two in the back of his head. I would have emptied the mag. Uh, You're all set. Well, I mean, as set as you can be. With crazy, he's got them believing he killed Garrett. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's a hairline fracture to the cheekbone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to get a long time. A lie detector. The a lie detector. lie detector. That's a lie. You need a whole chair this to be a lie detector. Galvanic skin response, oxygen consumption, micro expression, <laughs> brain waves, pupil dilation, voice biometrics. Every little Nine detail. Six variables in all. Right down to the capital D of detail. He wanted a lie detector Jesus. Romanoff couldn't beat. Whoa. Did she? Like Fury would tell. So who wants to go first? Get Ward to go first. Get Ward to go first. I volunteer Ward. So you're not going to mention your grandfather? It's not something I advertise. Didn't want to be treated any different because I'm a legacy. You're a if legacy? A grandson of a howling commando, I'd have that Oh, on my okay. Chest. What is your first name? Sitting on the sand is a box. What is in that box? A lightsaber. Shelly, the TARDIS. Oh, that's my go. That's my go. Bigger on the inside. With the rising tide and all. You're overthinking it. Congratulations, Agent Sky. 
Let's go get you a lanyard. Yay! She gets another badge. Another lanyard. Has Ward done it? Ward needs to do this. Where well, they were trying to harness the electrical power of something called Dark Force. Dark Nothing Force. bad ever happens when you work with something called Dark Force. Being the specialist on mission? Sir, I'll be whatever you want me to be. That's what I was hoping you were gonna say. Good. <laughs> Fitz, come on. Where He's a part of the team. Egg and a rock. Befriend him, make some Proximate. connections. Have you ever heard of Project Insight? Are you associated with Hydra? We all are. They've infiltrated the highest oh, levels of our you smart son of a bitch. You so no, no, come on, yeah, come on. Like you mean it. Yeah. Are you Pull that trigger. Hydra? Pull that carrot, pull I'm that trigger, Koenig. Cool. That's acceptable. And he gets a lanyard? Really? God damn it! Whoa, what? Oh, ouchie, ouchie! What? Ouchie, ouchie! Hey. Daniels was obsessed with a woman there. He called her his only light in the darkness. Oh, I see. That's almost romantic. Almost. Almost. Yeah, almost. Audrey Nathan. She's how we tracked him the first time. We find Ms. Nathan, we find Daniels. Is she with someone else? Is she has she moved on with her life? Is she married and shit? I recognize her. She's from Supernatural. And person of interest. Whoa. Audrey Nathan. Oh, okay, they're there to save her. There's a man after me! No, we know we're with the CIA. Get in! Yeah, get in, get in, get in. They're your best bet. They are your best bet. They were trying to make me stronger. Stronger. And they did. Oh damn! Oh, that's the dark force, isn't it? That's the dark force. Cellists don't get many groupies. But then one night, I saw him outside of my house. I was Ish. terrified. But then a shield agent came to my door. I don't know why, but I trusted him right away. Awesome. Something about his face, the handsome part, maybe. He just swooped in. It was like out of a movie. Wait, she's a chalice. Uh, He's Coulson. Very. He promised me. Is she Coulson's chalice? Tell me she's Coulson's chalice. She'll never lie to me. She's <laughs> Coulson's chalice. Agent Philip Coulson. She's Coulson's chalice. That Audrey was new to her. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to him? He died in the line of duty. Oh, no. I don't know the details. For so long after he died, everything reminded me of him. I still dream about him sometimes. Oh, oh stop it, you're hurting me. Do you understand? That's not acceptable. <laughs> well, that's not ideal, but there's no other choice. I won't be <laughs> exactly that emotional. Her, but sir, I'm sorry, but she's already in danger. And you said it yourself, Daniel's is single-minded. He's dangerous. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. Oh, I did not think that would be that emotional. Oh, God. Please tell me they can reunite. How's tell it coming? Me. Living on the edge really pays off sometimes. Oh, damn. Times. <clears throat> God. Is he gonna kill Koenig? Oh, he's what gonna kill Koenig. Show? Our best agents are watching. I promise. They won't let anything happen to you. <gasps> Pull these from the Jets' power reserves. Who did you say created this technology again? Bruce Banner. Then ah. I'm sure it'll go off without a hitch. Yeah, it should do. Should do. Eric, she never felt anything for us, did she? She just played us so she could keep an eye on Coulson. No, that was Ward. That was Ward. He played did all of it. Did you feel anything for her? Come on, Coulson. She deserves to know. Don't you think it? To talk to her. Do you not think she deserves again. that much? Besides, it's not like I can stay. Well, she will get there. Job to do. She'll understand that, but as long as she yeah. knows you're out there, alive like and safe. A funny way to show it. I am not a good man, Sky. Yes, you are. Is this all some kind of play again, or is this more just background revealing? <laughs> Phil's still there. He can save you. Phil will save you now, just like he did last time. Oh, yep, he killed him. He killed him. Yep, and Ward's on the way to you right now. You need to hide, Sky. 
You need to hide. Okay, okay, here comes the pure light. Here comes the light. Yeah, no, no more dark force for you. No more dark force for you. Come on. That's it. Don't overpower him. That's it. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. You're safe. I'm still here. I promise I'm still here. Couldn't just wait until she woke up again. Oh, damn it! I thought he was here. He is here. He is here. See what we want to see, I guess. Hey, think I'd be hiding in a closet? Oh, so she still managed to oh, hide out. Okay. Oh god, not again. Can we get one of these between Audrey and Phil, please? It's been so long, they deserve it. They gave more than anything else in the world. Someday, I guess. Some, no, Phil, when please. There's a chance she'll understand. Well, I'm sure she knows about the Battle of New York. When we get back, I need to make things right with May. How can I expect Audrey to forgive me if I'm not willing to do the same? That's a fair point. Where's our boss? And our team. I don't know. Wait, no, War oh, Ward is taking Sky to Garrett. He's taking her to Garrett. Where to next? <sighs> we'll return in a moment. Thanks, Phil. None of this is. Wait, Ontario, Canada. Her mother? I mean, I know she had a mum, but she probably had people. Her mother is taking her out. What are you doing? We have to go. 500 miles. What? 500 miles and I don't even get a thank you. <laughs> I was just about it's to... too late. Thank you. I said too late. <laughs> I may be retired, but I still have contacts. She used to work for S.H.I.E.L.D.? And my agency hasn't fallen apart. Oh, she doesn't work for S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, I don't know. You're not the maybe, only Maybe, maybe not. One. I just want to talk. Talk to who? Good. I've always liked Maria. Maria. <gasps> Maria Hill! Oh, okay. Oh, wait, so her mom is in S.H.I.E.L.D. or was in S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. 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 Alright. Um. Wow, okay. Um, that was an interesting episode. Not as emotional as I was at certain points, not as emotional as I was, as I was expecting it to be. I just, oh god, I genuinely teared up at some point, as you can probably tell. Um, but wowza, okay. Um, so that ending, because I haven't written it down, so let's talk about that one first, that ending. Um, so, her mother used to work, M M May's mother used to work for S.H.I.E.L.D. Like she said she's retired, but she still has contacts with her. Her mother used to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. The idiot one from the family, um, but yeah. So her 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 mum still had a contact in Maria. So we might see Maria Hill soon. I hope so. I hope so. Um, but she's but Maria. I mean, I mean Maria is still very much Hydra. We saw that even in the Winter Soldier. She's uh, that Shield even Shield, not Hydra. No, Maria is still very much Shield. Um, we even saw that in the Winter Soldier. Um, so it looks like she's one of the last few people that. Um, uh, May feel she can trust, and she's also going to just talk to May, to talk to, 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 talk to Maria, talk to Maria. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, her mother, so... Um, 500 miles to Ontario, Canada, and she calls up her mother. Um, now we can, I mean, a bit cheesy, but now we can tell where May gets all those good looks from. <laughs> well, I can't believe I actually said that. Um... Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I, mean, I feel like it's a, a bit weird to be shocked that May has a mother because, again, people come from somewhere, so you know, mother and father is usually how it works. Uh, be a mother, I mean, I feel like it's a bit rude to say I don't really think her parents are still alive, um, but I don't remember what kind of questions she gave for the family, for, for, the, for the remaining family thing in, in India, in the live tech chair. But yeah, her mother picked her up and she I think she said my agency hasn't fallen yet so that's why I was curious as to whether she still was um maybe she I mean you know if she 
if maybe she means you know the good parts of Shield haven't fallen yet, so there are still people good 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 people within Shield that are still working to pick up what's left off and you know try and pe- try try and survive in the wake of Hydra's resurrection. Um, and Maria is one of those contacts she has. So yeah, so that was uh, that was cool to see. So next episode we'll likely see um, Maria and May having a little bit of chat, but it'll be good to see Maria back. It'll be great to see Maria Hill back in action in this. Um, if she's actually going to show up, or unless we're just going, unless they're going to have like some kind of off-screen interaction, then May's going to come back with more intel or something. But yeah, May leaving the team is something that kind of shocked me because I mean she was like, you know, oh, Colton can't really, can't really see me, can't really see me. Um, beyond any of the any of the lying, or can't really see me beyond any of the stuff I held from him. So there's no point in actually staying here anymore if he can't trust me enough to do that. Um, you know, like the, the the main thing Colson wanting is um is to know who was actually behind the the Tahiti project because he, he Nick Fury wasn't behind the Tahiti project, but he's the one who actually ordered the operations to be done using the heat Tahiti stuff. But the, the Tahiti thing with the alien and the GH three two fives and everything else was a separate project that they were working on off the books, and understandably because they're working with alien tech. Um, so yeah, so she left the team, and, you know, convenience for Ward as well, because um, Sky can't really fight back as well as May, so, you know, not really much of a defensive mode thing for her to be able to handle. Um, but yeah, I think um, at the beginning, I caught some nice kind of Civil War foreshadowing as well, like um, like the on, on, on the radio, like the, the, the news anchor discussing it, like, you know, how someone has to be held accountable for these actions and stuff like that, like the the, 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 the government or someone has to answer for what's actually going on here. So it's a nice bit of foreshadowing that, you know, leads to Civil War, because I think the Winter Soldier kind of collateral damage of the helicarriers was one of the talking points of the... Uh, of the violence and damage caused by the Avengers battles um, in Civil War. So, nice piece of foreshadowing. Nice piece of foreshadowing. I'm curious to see, I mean, again, speaking I've been speaking ahead of the actual show, but I'm curious, curious to see how that's going to affect everything as well. Um, but that was a nice piece of foreshadowing. Um, yeah, um, so Marcus Daniels. Marcus Daniels. He is, I think mean, he didn't really, he didn't have a name beyond Marcus Daniels. He didn't really have like, a code name or like a super villain name even. But he was part of some kind of some kind of um, physics or electric lab or something, um, some kind of team um, where he was exposed to dark force, which is a type of cosmic radiation um, that allows him that, that like um, that in the end it allowed him to absorb all types of energy and, and any type of energy. So I mean the I mean the the the, 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 the 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 stuff with the lights that's obvious he's he's absorbing that kind of electrical energy the the people I mean I mean I guess is there I mean I mean the people what kind of energy is there like I doubt that that's I I, I doubt that's still electrical energy unless it's like I don't know I mean maybe it's just kind of like just kind of like the life force of people the energy running through them um, but just just any energy overall he can like absorb it but I think the first time they defeated him was by just, like, overpowering him with energy until he couldn't actually handle anyone. He was just bloated and stuff like that. But this time, this time they, I think that they did the same thing, but using, like, the, the gamma radiation devices that were made by Bruce Banner. So it was a surefire way of making sure it would work. It was, I mean, I think it was untested, but because it was made by Bruce, he knew what he was doing. So, you know, um, it was a device um, sure to work. And they, they did the same thing here, but I think this time they actually just did they almost, like, blew him up, or, like, Blew him to dark force mist or whatever, but he just he, there was nothing left of him there. So I think they 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 did manage to maybe kill him or something. So yeah, that was that. And yeah, her, 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 the emotional turning point of this episode. Okay, so the woman he I think I think no the the way they pulled that twist off was actually kind of kind of um really it it it, it, it was really well done I think that the way they built up to that reveal was really really well done because Marcus Daniels himself it's not it's not just because it was Marcus Daniels but it was the other person connected to him um, that Phil met through him that made this a personal thing it wasn't just Marcus Daniels but it was who he attacked the first time who he was going after the first time that made this such a personal mission for Coulson and we know that one of the most personal people in Coulson's life one of the most you know close to the closest to the heart people in Coulson's life is his dear sweet cellist, um, and I think 
and yeah, like um, you know, I think um, they found the woman, they found Audrey Nathan, and I think, and it it makes even more sense why, like you know, Trip and Simmons are the first ones to rescue her, and then they drive off, and then another car comes in, and then Coulson and Fitz are the, the second ones to actually take on Martha Daniels. So like they, they like he took every opportunity, he gave orders to them to how to assemble and how to you know like how to regroup and stuff. Um, he 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 gave them the orders to make sure that you know he wouldn't directly be seen by Audrey. He gave them that the, those kinds of orders. So he so, you know he made it purposeful, like you know like um, I'll, I'll hide behind the kind of the uh, hard to look hard to see through mirror and like you know, like um, he, 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 even on the road he was like you know okay trip and Simmons can go first to rescue her and me and Fitz will handle handle Mark and everything. Like he made it, but, and he was even in a separate room when he was in a separate room with Fitz when. Um, when uh, S- Simmons and Trip were talking to Audrey, and I think the first clue, obviously being like you know, like I, I think it, 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 I didn't really feel like it was much to think about, like when she was when she first started playing, like oh he started showing up at her concerts. And I think I think you know I think I, I feel like I should have I think maybe I should have picked something up from concerts, but I didn't really think it you know mattered too much. But then she said you know um, cellists don't really get many groupies, and I was like oh she's a cellist, okay that's nice. You know Colson knew a cellist, and he was really madly in love with her. Um, a lot uh, to, to a, a much less creepy level than Marcus, but you know, so I was like, you know, oh, so Marcus Daniels had a had a cellist. So like, I was like, no, maybe that's why it's personal for um, maybe, maybe the occupation is why it's personal for for Colson. Like, you know, he knew a cellist once. He was in love with her. He wanted to protect her with his life, and he sees another person. Um, you know, like so like like he wants to protect another cellist. Like, she maybe she reminds him of his own lost love. Um. And then, and then I, I, I then I, I felt like maybe I was thinking a bit, but I started putting, putting two and two together. I was like, wait, 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 is this Phil Coulson's cellist? Is this Philip Coulson's cellist? Is that why this is so personal to him? Is this the same woman that he was in love with? Um, and then, and and then she did mention that you know Shield was, Shield came in and and you know saved her from the from from the grips of Marcus in the first place. He was outside her house, he was making the lights, he was going into a blackout mode and everything. Um but then Shield came in and Phil Coulson came in and saved her from Marcus Daniels. So like at that point I was like, Oh my god, it is her like that's how they met. <laughs> that's how they met he saved her from another superpowered stalker pretty much. Um, and then that's how they met. That's how she became his cellist. Um, not not to say that she is only his cellist. She is a cellist, but she is the love of his life too. Um, but yeah, damn. Oh god, I, I I could not help but tear up at that point. And that's why. And then realizing why Colson was in another room. Like he can't tell. He can't bring himself to tell her just yet. He can't do that to her. And you just knowing that you know his love, his, the love of his life is in the next room. <laughs> he can't do it. He couldn't do it, and then, uh, Jesus, Audrey Nathan. So we finally have a name for his cellist. We finally have a name for his cellist, and it's beautiful, and she's beautiful, and oh god. Um, but yeah, but he he just went deliberately. I mean, even when I think even when he was handling that um that that pure light device, like he I think he he even showed up and aimed it in a way that the light would be blinding to her, so she wouldn't see who was holding it, but she would likely see Trip on the other side. So. Yeah, he. I think. I think that stuff, like that, and also him kind of speaking to her just as she was waking up and then disappearing right before one. That was just torture. That was torture for her and for me. That was torture. I needed to see a reunion. Um, yeah, I genuinely teared up at that. I genuinely teared up at realizing that was his cellist. <laughs> God, after everything he's been through, he's like after everything they've both been through, like her, you know, her being devastated after after receiving the call that he died in action. Um, I think, let me go back and listen to. That. I think I think did she say she knew about the Battle of New York, or was it just like a like a killed in action kind of call she received? Okay, yeah, I again my heart beats every time I see that scene, and my heart just pounds every time I see that clip. Just you know the music, the way it switches back and forth between them, Colson, you know, still remembering everything about her, and just you know the rest of the team realizing, oh shit, this is about Colson. Uh, um. But you know, she actually did okay, so she didn't know. She didn't know about the Battle of New York. She said, you know, she got the call that he died in the line of duty, but she never got the details, she never knew any of the details, she didn't know it was you know, what it was. Um so yeah, and they were planning a trip and then that's when they that's when she got the call. 
And yeah, and I, and I, she said that just everything after that reminded her. But she she was still madly in love with him even after his death. She said everything reminded her uh, him. Uh, every, everything reminded her of him, and you know she's still to this day she not not a day goes by that she doesn't remember him and stuff like that. So, oh God, it is a love we deserve to see reunited. Come on, writers, what are you doing? Like, do, do you like seeing me in pain? Is that it? Do you just like seeing me just struggling to piece together my heart after? episodes and episodes of emotional turmoil just stab here stab there stabs everywhere is that what you want to see fuck's sake oh jeez okay so yeah that was um that was his chalice that was Audrey Nathan and I think she um and I think Phil is the reason why she tr- she still trusts Shion she almost I think she knew you know because you know uh, I mean I think it's no coincidence either. Like you know, as soon as, as soon as Marcus shows up when she's doing her jog, as soon as um Marcus shows up, Shield shows up as well. Like and like 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 people show up in black cars and black vans and shit. They they show up, they save her, and then another car comes by and they um and and, and, and they try and ward off um Daniel. So she knows that this reminds her of the first time she was saved. She she said the first time Colson came to her door and promised her that he would stop Daniel exactly what he did so it reminds her of the first time she was saved she knows that way it's shield she can trust them because phil calls him his shield um and she, she's hearing all the stuff they're saying that, oh um shield is really hydra it's like a terrorist organization but she knows phil would never go down that route phil is a good man he saved her life once before um and you know that's the reason she trusts shield now and that she knows that Shield would never go down that route, um, and he, 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 even if the majority of Shield hasn't taken over Hydra, she, I think she, she knows because of Phil. There are still good, good, good. There is still goodness left in Shield, and, and to her, Simmons and Triplet are proof of that. They're there to save her. They're there to help her to stop Daniel. So she knows that's proof of that. So Coulson is the reason she trusts Shield. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> Damn, no, I, I, I need it. I need a reunion between them. I need a happy ending. Or like a happy continuation. Not even an ending, like a happy continuation for them. I need... I mean, he said he would tell her someday. And I think... On the one hand, he said he would tell her someday, but I think like, but he, I think he did say that you know he needed to be able to forgive May and get past that, you know, because I think it, 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 it was a bit hypocritical of him to not be able to forgive May, but then, you know... Go, 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 but then go to reunite with them um, with Audrey, expecting her to do the same thing. So he needed to learn, learn to let the past go for himself before letting, b- 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 before, um, before um, asking Audrey to move past it. So I mean, yeah, but yeah, for Audrey, I think that that that, that would understandably be quite the shock. It would be something she need to process again. It'd be like seeing ghosts and stuff, and. I mean, I think the reality of it would be her seeing, seeing a ghost and maybe passing out and just not being able to process everything immediately. But, you know, like her fantasy is that, you know, even in death, Coulson is still saving her. He's still showing up with the light. He's still kind of, um, he's still showing up to make sure she's okay after she gets impacted by the blow. Um, he's still there kind of, you know, whispering, you know, um, sweet words of safety to her and all that sort of stuff. So that that, that is pretty much her fantasy that, you know, even in death, Coulson is still there. Um, protecting her and keeping her safe and stuff, but then the reality of seeing Coulson back almost from the dead would very much be like a blow to her mind, and it it, it, it would take a long time to process. And it's not, and it's you know, um, I think that that's the reality. Of it, but also Coulson's thing of you know, like um, needing to be able to forgive other people if he's going to ask someone else to forgive him for keeping her in the dark so long. Um, but yeah, I do. I I'm telling you right now, we had better see in in in, in the runtime of Agents of Shield, in the runtime of this spectacular show, I had better see a reunion between Philip and Audrey. I had better see. I will not. I will not die until that happens. I refuse to leave this earth, leave this mortal coil until that happens. Until I see a reunion like that, I, I will not. I will not leave. You know. So. We 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 better see some romantic lovey dovey shit between those two lovebirds, or I will God help me, I will burn Hydra down to the ground for everything they've done. So yeah, um, that is so sweet. We finally get some backstory to that as well. We finally get some, we finally you know meet the cellist, and we finally get that kind of um, even if it's even if this entire episode in that plotline is filled with emotional turmoil, we still get some kind of backstory and some 
explanation as to who she is and why it's so personal for Colton. And, you know, um, he saved her from a monster once and he became the light in her life. You know, Audrey was labelled as the light in um, in Marcus Daniels' life, but Audrey really... But, but Colson was the light in Audrey's life. She, he was the one that swooped in and saved her and reassured her that he would keep her safe and saved her in the end. And, yeah, it's just so sweet. It's just, oh, I, I need it. I need this. I need this. Um, oh, that's so cool. That was so damn cool. I love that. I love it to bits. And I, I recognise the actress as well. I recognise the actress. I recognise her. I think first time I saw her was in Supernatural. She survived an episode of Supernatural. So that's, that's definitely something. Um, but I think I think I haven't seen Person of Interest like in its actual in, in its like full length. I haven't actually watched the show, but I have. I've seen clips here and there. I've seen some gifs on Tumblr and stuff, so I know she's in that with Sarah Shahi, who was also in Supernatural. Uh, but I, I do know she's in Person of Interest, so I think she 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 she's been around on some shows. She she she's been around. So it was good to see her showing up on Agents of Shield. That was really really cool. Um, <clears throat> but that was Audrey Nathan. Um, and she's a great cellist too. Like that, 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 that piece she was playing, just beautiful, harmonious, melodious. Every other descriptive musical word I can think of, it was, it was great. She, she, she's, she's a great cellist. She's a great cellist. Um, but yeah, so now on to the bad. On to the bad, which is Ward. Um, bad spelled with three letters. Ward spelled with four letters. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, but no, <laughs> Ward returned to the team. And he was successfully maintaining that cover of Haddad still being a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and still uh, and, and trying to thwart the Hydra raid of, of the fridge and stopping Garrett. So he told them he also killed Garrett. He told them, you know, Ward, he told them Garrett was a tough son of a bitch, but he, but he managed to overpower him and put two in the back of his head. So, yeah, and he even paid me, even tried to, you know, goad um, to try and butter up, um, trip into his order. You know, one bullet for me, one bullet for you, two to his, his two protégés pretty much um so he's left the team under the guise that Garrett is dead um but yeah so he I think I don't know so he killed he killed Koenig he killed Koenig he killed him with a razor wire and left him above like like a like a ventilation like a, like a grit like, like a grill on the ceiling in the storage room so he killed Koenig that I mean, uh, my, 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 I mean, uh, uh, as the scene went on, as as Sky was walking around and she got to the story room and she was trying to look for Koenig, I had a feeling, and I think, yeah, I think it was a neat trick, it was a neat trick by Ward Hill, leaving the coin, leaving that coin thing or whatever it was on the door, um, so, you know, if, if it fell, it meant that the door wouldn't have been opened, the room wouldn't have been entered before, but if it wasn't there and if it was gone, then it would mean that, you know, someone, someone went in, they found it. Um, and good, good job on Sky for placing it back there as well. So when he opened the door to check the room, to check that it was uninterrupted, the coin still fell. So that was smart. That was smart on Sky for, li- for leaving that back up there. Um, but, um, yeah, so he killed Koenig, so Koenig didn't last long, unfortunately. So RIP to Koenig. He did his job as, as, as a shield agent. He, he, um, he, he orient, he oriented, oriented, orientationed. No, oriented sounds more. Plausible as a word, yeah. Oriented, he oriented the team. Well, he 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 put the team through the orientation, the necessary orientation, which was a lie detector table. So I didn't really manage to pick up everything, but I managed to pick up some details. So um, Melinda's full name is Melinda Chowlian May. I apologise if I butchered that name. Wait, let me no, no, no. Instead of apologising, let me do more than apologise. Actually, go back and listen to how she pronounces it. Yeah, because apologising is one thing. Actually, making sure. I can correct myself. There's another thing. Okay, yeah, Melinda Chulian May. That's her name, Chulian. No, no, not Chaolian, Chulian. Um, so, yes, I'm going to go through this bit by bit, but I have written down most stuff. So, that's her name. And Melinda was married once. Huh. So, she did, I think, I'm assuming that was before whatever went down with the shield. I think, I can't imagine she'd have a success. I mean, like... Not because of her, no, not not because of any fault of her own. But I can't really imagine any any shield agent. I mean, Coulson is a testament to this, but you know, I can't imagine any shield agent would have a successful love life. But she was married once, and I I, I, I would, um, I would count that to be a part of her life before having been a part of Shield. Um, that was that. Um, Sky doesn't have a family name, so I mean. 
my guess is that is part of the thing that you know, like um, Agent Avery and Agent um, Rumley was it? L- no, Lumley. Yeah, Lumley. Uh, Richard, Richard Lumley, but Lumley. A- Agent Avery and Lumley, the Shield agent who uh, originally rescued her um, after the World Command came in. I think, I think they wiped her record clean and set her up with a new thing and passed her around from place to place, from from foster house to foster house. So I, 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 I'd wager that you know that's why she has no family name. She has no official family name. I mean, she likely does, like from wherever she came from, but it's been wiped off the record to prevent her from being found. So that's why she actually she isn't aware of her family name. Um, and why the only name she has is Sky. Um, Triplet. Interesting history on Triplet. So he is the he's the grandson of a Howling Commando, the um, the squadron that we saw Captain America lead in the first Avenger, the first people to fight back against Hydra. So he is actually the grandson. I mean, it's not to be. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, the saying not to be racist and then saying something else is probably going to contradict it, but I mean, I, I, I think we can guess who, who, I mean, I can't remember the guy's name, but I, I do remember who he's actually talking about, but yeah, he's the grandson of the Howling Commando, so that is pretty damn cool, but he, he didn't want to advertise it, he said, because he didn't, want, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't want to be treated any different because he's a legacy, so this is a part of being a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and fighting back against Hydra is in his blood, and he even said it, like, you know, back in the day, his grandfather helped defeat Hydra, so he believes S.H.I.E.L.D. can do it all again. S.H.I.E.L.D. was born from the SSR, so he believes They've defeated them once, they can do it again. So, he's an optimistic man. He's an optimistic man. But, he's the grandson of a Howling Commander. And, this episode, if anything, this episode proved to me that, you know, it is true. I can love Simmons more than I originally did. Simmons is a Whovian. <laughs> Simmons is a Whovian. If, I think that, that, that question about, you know, oh, there's a box. And, it, it, the, 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 there's a, you're on an island and there's, and there's a box. What is in the box? Everyone else be, um... I think Ward saying like a pistol and uh, Fitz saying Simmons is in the box. But Simmons, he's like, hmm, let me think. The TARDIS. The TARDIS is in the box. I mean, well, I don't know if she meant the TARDIS is the box or the TARDIS is in the box. I think, wait, let me go back and listen to that. Wait, wait. Did he, did he say what's in the box or what's, what is the box? Uh, okay, yeah, so he said what is in the box or what's actually in the box. So May said a machete. Trip says a sat phone. So you can call someone. <laughs> yeah, some people are saying, like, you know, how big is the box? It doesn't mean what kind of box is it? Is it stable? Is it secure? Is it massive? Is it teeny weeny? What is it? What, what size is the box? Yeah, <laughs> Fitz Hame Simmons. The TARDIS. Yeah, she's a Whovian. My girl is a Whovian, and I love her all the more for it. Of course, the British would come up with the TARDIS. Um, but yeah, she she had the TARDIS, so that way she can just, she can she she can just teleport herself right off the island. She, she 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 can she I mean if she I mean if she wants to cause a time time loop or a paradox of some sort, then she can you know travel back in time to when she was washed off the island and then just rescue herself and um you know go away somewhere far away and you know live out adventures in time and space with a clone of herself um you know but because I think I think Simmons is probably the kind of I mean. You know, I mean, she, she, no, she's not egotistical, but I think she, she, she's the kind of um, person who would, like, um, you know, like, her, like herself as a companion would probably be, you know, well-serving. So, yeah, but yeah, I, I, I love her. I love her. Just for, just for that one line, just, just for having the TARDIS in, in the box, just for having the TARDIS, just for choosing that, I love her. I love her all the more. Um, yeah, but by definition, I would die for her. So... Yeah, so she's a Whovian. That's that's awesome to know. Um, so Howling Commando, Whovian, and married one of <laughs> once. That is one hell of a takedown. Um, but yeah, so that was the that that chair was the lie detector chair. That was what was designed to to calculate stuff down to the last like possible the capital D of the details. So pretty much so like the micro expressions of the face, the breathing techniques, and. Um, and like the pupil dilation and like brainwave patterns and all that kind of stuff and just the changes in emotion and heartbeats and stuff like that. Just every possible thing, every possible telltale sign like a person could have when they're lying. This machine is built to detect that, even the smallest thing. So built to, like to to see that even if if even Romanov, if even Natasha could actually pass that thing, but Fury wouldn't tell anyone if she did. So. You know, I mean, Natasha having that, that have, having that background of being a master manipulator and um, and spy, she 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 is kind of she was taught to lie to her last breath. So seeing if she can actually hold that together in front of the chair, I think I'm willing to bet she passed it. I'm willing to bet she passed that thing, like actually telling lies. But I mean, I mean, 
They only did, did one trial, but I'm, I'm willing to bet maybe she kind of half and half it. Maybe actually told half a half, 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 half like maybe maybe if if they asked her personal questions, um, maybe she she kind of told half truth, half lie. But I mean, he did have a script, but I think maybe that was just for these. I think maybe it was tested on Natasha, and then the official thing was actually given to um to to to, to Coulson and, and, and the agent. I mean, I don't even know if Coulson actually did it. I don't I don't remember seeing Coulson in the chair. No, I don't. I don't think he did it. No, I think it was just like like the it was just May Fitz, um, Sky Ward, and Trip. So yeah, I don't. I don't think, I think Colson actually did it. But um, I mean Colson, he he knows Fury is alive, so he's kind of safe anyway. He like the the rest of them need to go through orientation. Um, so yeah. Um, but where was I? So yes, I think it it, 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 it was tested on Romanov, but then the official thing was actually given to um to uh to, to the team. So that was uh, that was cool. Um, but yeah, I think Marcus Daniel. I think another point from Marcus Daniel. So he was actually upgraded by the fridge. But I mean, the fridge. I think is it running like off the records like experimentation on the inmates, like any, any of the superpowered inmates. Because I think I think he already had the Dark Force in him. When he was sent there, that that was that was the reason he was sent there because he he was he had abilities. That was the reason he was sent to the fridge. So I mean, if he said like that th- they upgraded him and then they made him stronger, then that would mean that maybe I mean, and if Coulson didn't know about that, then maybe that means they're running off the off the record experiments on the on, on the inmates, and maybe like all, all all the ones that I mean, the fridge. Knowing what the fridge is, it likely only keeps people in there who are either. You know, like even humanly dangerous, or just, or just like nine times out of ten, that they, they, they have abilities of some sort. So maybe, they, maybe they will all be experimented upon. Huh, I don't know, maybe, but um, this one I think. I mean, given I think how how close are we to the end of the season? That's only like, so three episodes left. Three episodes, wow, we've progressed a lot. We've progressed a lot, and it's been incredibly fun watching this stuff with you guys. Um, but yeah, we've progressed a lot. So, I mean, a few episodes left. I mean. I can't really see. I mean, g- g- given how many, it, uh, how many people there were, there, how many prisoners there were, I can't really see them exploring all of them. Maybe the others are just, you know, just your run-of-the-mill, super-powered super criminals and stuff. But this one, I think I, I understand why they led with this one because this one actually has, you know, personal history with Colson and yeah, she has a personal attachment for him. So this, this is why they led with this one. But I think maybe in the next one we might see more off-screen. Um, uh, prisoner hunting and stuff, and get, 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 um, get, getting them, getting them re, re, re um, rehabilitated and re, re, restrained. And he said, like the, the original plan was to rehabilitate him, but then they just made him stronger. They, 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 they upgraded his abilities through experimentation, most likely. And I, I wonder if that was a Hydra thing. If it was off the records, I wonder if that was a Hydra thing. Like, 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 like Hydra members who were working in the fridge undercover. Um, realizing that, that they had all of these superpowered inmates, then they kind of ran their own tests and experiments on him off the record. I wonder. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so it, so yeah, it makes sense why they led with this one, but the other ones, I think maybe, maybe we, we might get a glimpse or two here, but I think for the most part, the rest of them might just be captured and taken back to the fridge off, off, off screen. Um, and the rest of the episode will focus on Garrett and stuff. But yeah, Ward, um... Fair to say, I don't, don't really like how the romance stuff is progressing with him and Sky. I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think he, um, I think, I think, thing is, right, I mean, he, I think, okay, okay fair chances are, like, you know, it, 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 I mean, maybe that there's the teeniest, tiniest part of him, teeny, teeny, tiny, teeny, weeny, baby, smally, um, that actually does feel something for Sky. Maybe. On an off chance, maybe, and it, and it's only because um, Sky was was allowed to, to live this long, and even after the the whole being shot by Quinn thing, she still survived it. So you know, even even before that, he was made her SO. He got close to her. He was you know seeing her in action, being around her more. It still allowed him to open up to some way. Um, but I think you know he. I think um um, I think it was Garrett in the last episode that made a point of like you know oh, all of this could have been avoided if um if I'd ordered you to shoot her or like to, to take her out on day one, like as soon as he met her, if he had just been ordered to, to take Sky out on the job, um, the, the first day he met her. But he didn't, which allowed her to live this long and allowed her to actually interact with Ward on a, on a daily basis for, for this long and stuff like that. So, you know, um, 
I think that alone has kind of um. I mean, I think, again, I think it's it's allowed for some small part of him, some small pieces of him to actually be to be connected to Sky in, in, in a way that he maybe maybe does care for her, but in them for the most part, he is trying to get her to Garrett to get her to unlock the hard drive, which he did. He um, under the pretense of helping the team, he took Sky and he stole the bus and he was leading her to Garrett. But I think she said the um the hard drive was that also coordination locked or something. It was like well, it was location lock, so only to, uh, 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 only uh, 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 it, it could only be decrypted at a certain location, um, where, wherever was the sky decided. So I doubt that's wherever Garrett and Co are hiding out. I think it might be like another base or like another location somewhere. I think likely not the hub, but just somewhere that she can. I think maybe somewhere she knows is a safe place. Maybe somewhere that that is, you know, known to be shield shield secure. Um, but either way, I, 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 I think it made it easier for him knowing knowing that the rest of the team wasn't here. So the only person he had to kill was Koenig, um, who likely couldn't couldn't have put up much of a fight against someone as evil and as strong as him. So he only had to kill Koenig, and then May left. That took out that competition. He didn't have to force her to stay back. He didn't have to talk her into it. He just let her go on her way. And like you know what, I'll just take Sky anyway. So he took the bus and he took Sky. He didn't have to kill the team because they were off sorting out the Daniels thing. So it made it easier for him. He didn't have to tell the team. He didn't have to do anything. Just take this guy, take the bus, and fly off into the, in, 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 into the day. Um, but Sky has discovered Warder's Hydra. Sky has discovered Warder's Hydra. So she's maintaining that guy. I think she was rightfully like devastated and just kind of terrified at that point because she knew that you know oh, he killed Kane. Kane is a shield agent. He is Hydra. He is Hydra. Like Kane is one of the last few good shield agents left, so, you know, Ward is Hydra, there's, there's no other reason Ward would kill him, so she's figured out um, Ward's uh, secret, but she's maintaining her own cover, she is maintaining her own cover of knowing that Ward is actually Hydra, that, he, that he's actually one of them, so how long they're both, <laughs> I mean, how they're going to deflect each other's kind of radar of, of Hydra shield and Hydra, um, Protection. Like, you know, like a ward, like knowing that, you know, oh, Sky knows the truth about me and Sky being like, you know, oh, I know the truth about Ward, but now he knows that I know the truth about him and that kind of stuff. How long that's kept up for, I don't know. I think it might not might, might, might not last longer than the next episode. Maybe maybe, maybe even by the end of the next episode, we, we, like, she, she might uncover something or he might uncover something. But I don't think anything, I, 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 I think... Before they get to Garrett, she's gonna know, and then, but but by that point, it's just gonna be like him taking a prisoner to Garrett, pretty much. Um, because Garrett's Garrett's orders were twenty four hours, and then if he doesn't get anything by then, half the entire team and just bring Sky to him. So at that point, I think it, 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 if if Garrett does find Ward is resorting to bringing her to him, I think he's not really expecting Sky to be completely oblivious to anything anyway. Because again, like you know, he knows that the team knows that Garrett is Hydra and the clairvoyant. So you know, once Sky meets Garrett anyway, she's going to be you know terrified and devastated and all, all, this, all that stuff. So I think if Garrett does find Ward returning to him with Sky, he's not going to be expecting her to be completely oblivious or unknown to any, to any of this stuff. Um, so that's that, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how that kind of how, how how much longer that kind of cover is maintained by Sky, and what exactly happens when they both find out the truth. So yeah, and and the, the team returned to the team returned to Providence and found that the bus was missing. So they're stranded at Providence, and they're likely going to find Kaney's dead body anyway. So I think um, I do sincerely hope that. I mean, and I mean, it's unlikely that Coulson is going to think May did anything. I think you know that's going to be a bit far fetched even for him. I think her being Hydra is not going to be a secret that he sees coming. So I think it's going to be unlikely. But I think he is eventually just also just going to, going to discover that Ward is Hydra. So we'll see. We'll see exactly how all of this shit goes down. Um, but yeah, that's pretty. Is, is there anything else I'm missing out on? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I think what just hit me was the fact that, you know, like, at, throughout this entire episode, like, war, like um, Coulson was just kind of going out of his way to avoid, um, in, like, a non, I mean, like, to, 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 to preserve that kind of secret, he was going out of his way to directly interact, um, to, to, he was going out of his way to avoid directly that interacting with, um, with, with Audrey, um, 
being in a separate room, um, you know, waiting until Gemma and Trip drove off with um with with Audrey to stop Daniels and to like being in that in, in that kind of um in that composer's room with the the mixing deck and everything, just being behind that mirror where his 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 appearance was kind of um filtered out or silhouetted or something, or you could really probably see him. And stuff like that and then, you know, the entire time I think I can only imagine I can only imagine the heartbreak he was going through, the love of his life is standing, he is on the stage performing one of her beautiful pieces and he can't even tell her he's still alive, he can't even do that, do, do that, I mean I think he is, I mean, I mean, it's a fair point that, that you know, that, 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 that there's like, um, you have to equally consider what that will do for her as much as the, uh, uh, as much as what that will do to her, what that will do for her, it will reveal to her that Coulson is actually alive and she'll have the love of her life back again, um what it will do to what it will do to her is that her entire world will be probably shaken upside down, and she'll be strong and struggling to process this and stuff. Um, and there's also the chance. But there's, there's also the thing that you know he is shield. He, I mean, not only is he shield, but he's also um, he's shield in a way that you know Hydra has taken over, and he's he's kind of like fighting the fight of his life right now, trying to preserve what's left of his beloved organization, and he's trying to work to not get himself killed by Hydra agents, so he'd be on the run constantly and. I think, even in that sense, outing himself to her would probably also make her a target. Like you know, because like Garrett knows about the cellist, um, so to to him, to him, the cellist doesn't even know he's alive just yet. So if you know, it, like you know, like, sh- sh- should word ever reach him that um, should word ever reach him that you know, oh, calls something out, but the cellist again, she knows he's still alive. Garrett would one hundred percent go after the cellist, like. A, why do I keep calling out the church? She has a name, Tara, for fuck's sake. Audrey. Um, if if you like if um Garrett actually finds out that um Audrey and Phil are reunited and they've actually interacted with her and she knows he's still alive, Garrett would want one hundred percent go after Audrey and torture her into actually giving him um a cult of location and if he ever did anything to her, I would take the son of this down myself. I'm not even kidding. I have a bow up there, I'm missing a few arrows, but I'll just Beat him with my bow. I beat him with my bow. That that's that's just what I do. Um, I actually I literally do have like a, it's pretty big, but I, I do actually have a bow up there. Um, but yeah, I think I think he, 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 even by that logic, actually, I mean, in the wake of Hydra, the world is a very dangerous place. In the wake of Hydra's resurrection, so you know, giving away his identity even to the love of his life is not a smart move. I think even he knows that. But um, but for the most part, I think he does want to make things a bit more stable. And also just, you know, again, like his thing, like learning to forgive May for what she kept from him um, will, 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 will help him understand that, you know, um, it's going to take time for Audrey to come to terms with this and forgive him for keeping her in the dark for so long about his death as well, especially given how long she grieved for. And even now she's still grieving, you know, having lost him. Um, it's only understandable that, you know, he, like, he, 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 he can't be that kind of a hypocrite, just, you know, not really forgiving someone else, but then, you know, Giving someone else the the, the the light of the truth again and expecting them to be like um, over it completely. So we'll see. But yeah, literally, literally, all I ask is that we see a beautiful, heartfelt, sure, emotional reunion between Audrey and Philip. That is all I ask. That is all I ask. If you can't give me that, then you are a being. Beyond evil, you are a being beyond evil and beyond emotional manipulation and whatever. If you can't give me that, then I don't even know if I can trust you anymore. But that is all I ask for. That's all I ask. But, um, but yeah, that is pretty much, pretty much all I have from this particular episode. But yeah, that was Marvel's Agents of Shield, season one, episode nineteen, titled "The Only Light in the Darkness," which is Audrey Nathan herself. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then salt and burn that like button. Comment on what you thought of the episode and what you think is coming up next in this season. And yeah, that's it. So, I will see you guys next time.